I'm Tom Lischer and this is Inside Cardiology, this time about the microbiome. So would you ever, ever have thought as a cardiologist to deal with things below the diaphragm? I didn't, but we should. Because in the microbiome there are millions, trillions of bacteria that uh, digest what we ingest, so they, uh, they eat what we eat and they produce meta metabolites that affect the cardiovascular system. So for instance, if you uh, were to look on this slide, if you eat steaks, lobsters, eggs, or cheese, then of course you end up to have phosphatidylcholine or other products such as carnitine uh, that you digest. And th this is taken up by the bacteria and they produce choline or TMO or trimethylcholine. Uh, amine and this is then oxidized in the liver by enzymes called FMOs and the TMAO which is the oxidized product of TMA will affect of course thrombosis but also atherosclerosis and therefore uh, indeed affect our outcome. We have shown that after myocardial infarction TML and TMAO are important predictors of outcomes. So whether they are actually just predictors or actually causally involved remains to be tested. But of course, when we move on, we can look at what therapeutic implications this may have. What can you do about it? Well, first of all, you can uh, be a vegetarian. It may, you may live longer, but it may feel longer, I would say. But you, uh, you can eat less meat because carnitine from meat clearly increases TMAO and probably also the risk. Then of course there are drugs, antibiotics take rid, uh, rid of the bacteria but that's not a real good treatment. But there are now specific drugs that are not absorbed but they affect the metabolism of bacteria and can reduce uh, TMA such as TMA lysase inhibitors. And then of course you can modulate the uh, microbiome by probiotics. They're not so terribly efficient but the lactobacillus plantarum or rhamnosus uh, can be uh, tested and eventually microbiome transplantation may be an issue and indeed in gastroenterology for Crohn's disease this has been uh, proven to be successful in randomized trial. So the microbiome is exciting in cardiology so read about it and maybe help us to uh, advance the evidence and eventually trials to prove causality for this important unrecognized risk factor. Thanks for attending.